All right, it's Joe Bruin here with AllAccessEntertainment.com, and it's Hartford Comic Con with the one and only Felix Silla, the legendary actor here at Hartford Comic Con. Thank you for taking the time. Good morning. Appreciate it. And uh, you grew up in Italy. Um, you came here to the United States. Um, you were part of uh, the Barnum & Bailey Circus. Why don't you tell us about that experience, first coming here? Well, when I came here from Italy in 1955, uh, I have a brother in New York, upstate New York, New York City, and I came to visit. I never had any idea what I was going to do. I was sure. 16 years old. So I started out working on the Ringling Circus in 1956 until about 1962. And then I decided to stay in California, Los Angeles. And I, went to, uh, I got a job in Los Angeles. And then a gentleman from MGM Studios came over and I said, hey, we're looking for some new people to do some stunt work in a movie. And hey, I got chosen as one of the stunt guys. I was a little kid about six years old. Wow. And that's how I got started the movie. Sure. And then after that, uh, every new bit kept coming on and coming on. And I got Buck Rodden. I did Buck Rodden, Adam's family. Uh, Star Wars, we got the Jedi. Absolutely. And now I'm just traveling to do uh, this uh, convention. I love to meet my fans. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I really enjoy talking to my fans. Because if it wasn't for them, we want to be able to be here. Exactly. And you've had so many iconic roles, and you mentioned Return of the Jedi. You played one of the iconic uh, Ewoks. What was that whole experience like, uh, being a part of a film that became so big, and did you expect it to be that big when you were doing it? Actually, I didn't expect it to, do it to be anything, because I didn't know anything about it. Uh, as a matter of fact, they, uh, they would give us, the, they would tell us not to say anything. Uh, you were not allowed to take any photos. They, they kept it by the top secret. Sure. They kept changing names on it. Uh, they kept, they called Blue Arbor, the Blue Ranger, the Blue Walk, or whatever, you know. And all yeah. of a sudden, they came out here. Fantastic. And, and you've had so many iconic roles. Cousin It, as you mentioned as well, uh, from the Adams Family, the legendary Buck Rogers show as well. Ziki and uh, now, the other question I had, um, you had a near-death experience as a stunt double for Short Round, yeah. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Why don't you talk about that? Well, we, uh, I, I'm not a much of a swimmer. I mean, I cannot swim from here to there. Right. Uh, they put me in this uh, raft, in the raft double the hook here, and I went myself, uh, the double for everything the board, the double for the uh, captain. So we were going down the river. And the guy said, in case anything happens, just come back. So they give me this live bath that says, if anything happens, just pull on the spring. Okay. Well, I'm going down the river. We're going down the river. Sure. And the, the raft goes down the hole, and it's supposed to come up and keep going. Instead of keep going, it flipped upside down. So I'm, I got stuck underneath. And, uh, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should let it go. Or, you know, I just hung on, and I kept pulling the spring, finding the thing. Inflated. Sure. And uh, the guy got me out and he said, Well, oh, I was pulling your leg, you didn't want me to go. I said, I don't think you were pulling anything. I couldn't figure it out. Because I was thinking about what to do. I didn't want to move. So I didn't want to go back to work. never found me. So it was a, a kind of hard thing to uh, because every, every other night, you know, six months after that, almost every night I had this like, like nightmare. Like, I was drowning. It was a pretty really scary, oh. uh, scary situation. Terrible experience, and I'm glad you got out of that okay. And yeah. Also, I uh, I worked on uh, Planet of the Apes, the very first, uh, the original Planet of the Apes. Which, uh, I said to the people, I worked with Moses, you know, Charles Nash. Sure. He did, you know. I got to work with Moses. A lot of people said, Who's Moses? Right here. I said, Come on, now you're not Charles Nash. No, yeah. Moses. And uh, you know, I, I mean, I worked with so many. Uh, all the comedians in Hollywood, I worked with all of them. Um, I've done a lot of stunts for the kids, a lot of stunt up for the kids. So. And now I'm enjoying uh, talking to you, uh, uh, for my, you know, talking to my fans. It's a pleasure to have you here. And, and how can fans follow you? Do you have a website that people yeah, can go to? Yeah, they can go to felixsilla.com. Uh, Excellent. Uh, tweaky, tweaky one at cox.net. That's my private email. Okay. Or, you know, sure. 
Well, we appreciate you taking the time here. AllAccessEntertainment.com, Hartford Comic Con, the one and only Felix Silla here at Hartford Comic Con. Thanks again for taking the time. Thank you so much.